probably heard of RuneScape before, but if not, RuneScape is one of the oldest and most popular MMORPGs out there. The world of RuneScape, Gilenor, is filled with thousands of interesting locations, creatures, items and of course, quests. Quests in RuneScape are nothing like they are in most other MMOs. They are truly an adventure, as they always have intricate storylines and non-linear progression. Many of them taking even hours to complete, sending you on adventures all over Gilenor. And despite all that, the game is surprisingly simple. You can pretty much play the entire game only using your mouse. This simplicity, however, shaped the game in a very interesting way. From gameplay, to community, to even content creation. I could make an entire video going in depth about what makes RuneScape unique, but what I want to talk about today is language, or rather, language learning. If you've ever browsed RuneScape related forums, you most likely have seen people talk about how they learned English through RuneScape. Why is that? Well, the simple design of RuneScape accidentally made it into an almost perfect language learning environment. Let's look at Earth Lingo. It's a video game which is specifically designed for language learning. Essentially what you do in the game is just run around and click on objects to see what they are called in a given language. The person who made the game calls it an interactive image dictionary with built-in revision. This is a form of comprehensible input, meaning that you can understand the meaning of a word or expression without even needing to see the translation of it. And comprehensible input has been proven to be a very effective method for language acquisition. Now let's look back at RuneScape. See the similarity? You can right click on almost every object, NPC and item you encounter in the game. From boxes and doors to even staglamite and salestite. Just from this feature alone, you already have thousands of comprehensible words throughout the game. When I got started in RuneScape, I barely knew any English at all. In fact, I started playing RuneScape pretty much exactly when English lessons began in my school. I actually had trouble getting off the tutorial island at first, as I couldn't really read the text to get me out of the first gate, and then I didn't understand how to make a bronze dagger at the smithing part. But well, it wasn't too hard to figure it out eventually. After that, like everyone else, I was thrown into Lumbridge. Even though I didn't really understand English, what's interesting is the fact that I didn't even need to in order to enjoy the game. I found cows and chickens, ducks and sheep, oars and trees, men and women. I found out that when you kill a chicken, they drop bones, feathers and a raw chicken. And when you chop a tree, you get logs, and you can drop the logs, and when you light them, you get a fire. And when you use the raw chicken on the fire, you can cook it. or burn it. When you attack a goblin, you will eventually take damage, and when you eat the chicken, it will heal some health. I was constantly picking up new words and concepts. RuneScape also has a lot of skills which you can train. Woodcutting, fire making, fishing, cooking, mining, smithing, and so on. And each of those skills brings to the table hundreds of new vocabulary words and interactions. Basically, whenever you're playing RuneScape, you're almost always getting comprehensible input through your interactions with the game. The game even has a chat box which is filled with messages from your actions. Oh and also, pretty much anything you can right click in the game, you can also examine, which will give you a short description for the given object. There is so much content in this game, for pretty much any level of language proficiency. Like I mentioned earlier, quests are a big part of RuneScape. And quests have tons of amusing dialogue in this game, which makes for easily digestible reading material as well. But if figuring out how to proceed in the quest simply by reading the dialogue is still too hard for you, there have always been tons of quest guides out there on the internet. Now even though I barely understood English, I still explored the RuneScape YouTube landscape. There were actually tons of videos already back in the day, and channels such as The Noob Show provided entertaining content which was perfect for entry level English immersion. One of the drawbacks of RuneScape for language learning is the fact that there is no English audio. But that pretty much got compromised for with the fact that I spent so much time watching RuneScape videos that it wasn't too big of a problem. And the most important part is that it wasn't even about learning English, I just genuinely enjoyed RuneScape content. It was an unforgettable experience and I still cherish those memories to this day. And if there's anything that's going to make you fluent in a language, this is it. 
And unfortunately, this is something which language classes will probably never provide. The community of RuneScape was extremely active, and since it's an MMO, you're always online and always playing with other players. And the players are pretty talkative, used to be even more so. I remember that despite the fact that I had been barely learning English, I was already chatting with people in English quite often. But that was on my other account. My main account actually wasn't able to see or send messages unless they were sent through a feature called Quick Chat, which just contained a lot of preset messages that you could choose from. This limitation was only for accounts with their date of birth set to younger than the age of 13. I don't even know what date of birth I set my account to, but all I know is that I hated this limitation, because all my friends were able to see and send messages freely, and I wasn't. But in a way, it was actually pretty good for learning English. It pretty much meant that I was only able to see and send grammatically correct sentences, and I really wanted to talk with people, so I mastered the quick chat. I memorized the shortcuts for a lot of the sentences. For example, I still remember that enter sg1 asks for what is your strength level, and enter sg2 says my strength level is 99. And the thing about seeing the same words or sentences over and over again is that you'll eventually memorize them and gain an intuition of the logic behind them. As I mentioned earlier, RuneScape has a lot of skills which you can train, and the skill system is pretty unique. Your skills start out at level 1, and cap at level 99 at which you reach mastery. The experience or XP required for reaching the next level grows exponentially, about 10.4% per level, which means that in the beginning you will level up very quickly, but as you start reaching higher levels, the amount of time it takes just to gain one level is significantly increased. Language learning is no different. At first, you can expect to make rapid progress as you go from knowing literally nothing to being able to say your first words and sentences, but once you start reaching intermediate levels of proficiency, the amount of time you need to make any noticeable progress at all is also increased significantly. And this is where language learning methods such as immersion start to shine and language schools start to fail. Essentially, when you get hundreds, if not thousands of hours of input in the language, you'll eventually reach very high levels of proficiency. This is what makes RuneScape such a valuable game for language learning. I honestly feel like it's pretty safe to say that out of all the popular video games, RuneScape is the king of comprehensive input. Now, to be honest, I did spend thousands of hours getting English input from sources outside of RuneScape, but I can say for sure that RuneScape was a big contributor to my English proficiency, and I was pretty much on top of my English class in school for that reason. I wholeheartedly recommend using RuneScape to learn languages. Sadly, the old school version of the game is currently only available in English, but the modern version of the game, known as RuneScape 3, also has support for German, French and Brazilian Portuguese. If you've seen any of my other videos, the following is probably obvious, but RuneScape has a very special place in my heart. It's the game that got me into video editing and making YouTube videos in the first place. If you haven't played RuneScape before, I recommend checking out this video by the Lazy Peon about why OSRS is still one of the best MMOs to play. Or you can just jump into either version of the game. They're quite different games though, so you can see which one resonates more with you. Thank you for watching, and if you liked the video, you can like the video. And if you'd like to see more, check out my other videos where I cover similar topics, and subscribe to stay tuned for all kinds of new content in the future. See you next time!